Welcome back to Dinar Guru. I'm your host, Sophia. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment to stay updated. It certainly appears to be the perfect storm right now for the Iraqi Dinar. Welcome to Dinar Guru. In recent months, the developments in Iraq have unfolded like a meticulously planned sequence of events, suggesting that the country is on the brink of a significant economic transformation. Since December 2022, when Iraq declared its complete exit from Chapter 7 of the United Nations Charter, a series of strategic moves have set the stage for what can only be described as the perfect storm for economic recovery and growth. The lifting of Chapter 7 sanctions, which had imposed severe restrictions on Iraq's financial and economic activities, marked the beginning of a new era. With the spigot now wide open, the final obstacles preventing the reinstatement of Iraq's currency are being addressed systematically, one by one. The Road to Chapter 7 Exit To appreciate the magnitude of Iraq's current progress, it is essential to understand the significance of Chapter 7. These sanctions, imposed after Iraq's invasion of Kuwait in 1990, restricted Iraq's economic sovereignty, controlled its oil revenues, and limited its financial transactions globally. Over the years, these sanctions hindered economic development and strained Iraq's financial institutions. The announcement in December 2022 that Iraq was finally free from these restrictions was a monumental step, signaling a new chapter in the nation's history. This liberation from Chapter 7 has unlocked numerous opportunities for Iraq, allowing it to re-engage with the global economy on more favorable terms. It has enabled the Central Bank of Iraq to implement policies and reforms critical for economic stabilization and growth. The exit has also restored investor confidence, paving the way for increased foreign investments and international partnerships. Currency reinstatement, a high probability in June. Among the many anticipated changes, the reinstatement of the Iraqi dinar, IQD, holds a place of particular significance. The process of reinstating the currency involves read nominating and revaluing the dinar, making it a more stable and internationally accepted currency. According to sources within the CBI, there is a high probability that this currency swap will occur in June 2024. This expectation has generated considerable excitement and speculation, both within Iraq and among international investors. The CBI's efforts to pave the way for currency reinstatement have been visible and strategic. They have been actively addressing issues related to inflation, monetary policy, and financial infrastructure. The introduction of advanced banking technologies, such as state-of-the-art ATM machines, is a critical component of this strategy. Technological Advancements in the Banking Sector One of the most visible signs of Iraq's preparation for currency reinstatement is the deployment of advanced ATM machines across the country. The Rafaidin Bank, along with other financial institutions, has imported and installed these machines, which are equipped with the latest technology to handle new lower denomination notes. This initiative is not just about modernizing Iraq's banking infrastructure but is also a tangible step towards making the new currency accessible to the public. The deployment of these ATMs in banks, commercial areas, malls, and various other locations underscores a commitment to financial inclusivity and convenience. By ensuring that these machines are widespread and accessible, the CBI is preparing the population for the upcoming changes in the currency system. These ATMs are equipped with new software designed to handle lower denomination notes, which will be crucial once the currency reinstatement takes place. Economic Implications of Currency Reinstatement the reinstatement of the Iraqi dinar is expected to have far-reaching economic implications. It will likely lead to increased stability in the currency, which in turn will boost investor confidence and attract foreign investments. A stable and strong dinar will enhance Iraq's purchasing power, reduce the cost of imports, and make Iraqi exports more competitive in the global market. This could lead to a significant boost in various sectors of the economy, including oil, agriculture, and manufacturing. Furthermore, a stable currency will facilitate better monetary policy management. The CBI will have more tools at its disposal to control inflation, manage interest rates, and maintain financial stability. These factors are critical for sustained economic growth and development. Addressing remaining challenges While the progress made so far is commendable, Iraq still faces several challenges that need to be addressed to ensure a smooth transition. These include political stability, security issues, and structural economic reforms. Political stability is crucial for economic policies to be effectively implemented. Any political unrest or instability could undermine the progress made and deter foreign investments. Security remains a significant concern as well. While there have been improvements, ongoing conflicts and the threat of terrorism continue to pose risks. 
Ensuring the safety of citizens and investors is paramount for sustained economic growth. Structural economic reforms are also necessary to diversify the economy. Iraq has traditionally relied heavily on oil revenues, which makes it vulnerable to fluctuations in global oil prices. Diversifying the economy by developing other sectors such as agriculture, tourism, and technology will be essential for long-term stability and growth. International Support and Partnerships International support and partnerships have played a crucial role in Iraq's journey towards economic revitalization. The involvement of international financial institutions, such as the International Monetary Fund, IMF, and the World Bank, has been instrumental in providing technical assistance and financial support. These institutions have helped Iraq develop and implement reforms aimed at economic stabilization and growth. Moreover, partnerships with countries and multinational corporations have brought in much-needed investments and expertise. For instance, collaborations in the oil and gas sector have not only boosted production but have also facilitated the transfer of technology and skills. Such partnerships are essential for building a robust and diversified economy. The Vision for the Future Iraq's vision for the future is one of economic prosperity and stability. The steps taken since the exit from Chapter 7 have laid a strong foundation for this vision. The anticipated currency reinstatement, technological advancements in the banking sector, and efforts to address remaining challenges are all part of a comprehensive strategy to achieve sustainable growth. This vision includes a diversified economy that is less dependent on oil, with a strong private sector and robust financial institutions. It envisions a country where citizens have access to modern banking services, businesses can thrive, and foreign investors find a stable and attractive environment. Please subscribe my channel and support me you guys have a great day. Thank you.